Hello everyone, this is Lisa. We are TTF Power and welcome to our live streaming. Today is Tuesday and it's our live streaming day. So do you remember last week's live streaming? I leave three questions for you. Do you remember them? If you remember, please comment at at the right corner at the at the comments comment place. Yes, let's have a look. Okay. Last week we talk about the guy wears. Do you guys remember? Yes, I leave you three questions. Let's look at it one by one. First one. What are the guy wears? Do you remember? Yes, I see some answers. Yes. Okay. Let's look at my answer. Guy wear is a light cable that is used to have steady tail towers to help in balancing the weight on the poles. So this is guy wear. And the second question, do you remember? Yes, I, I, I have got the right questions. What are types of guy wears fitting? I introduced five fittings for you last week. Do you remember them? Yes. Have a look. Let's remember them. You remember them? Yes, I have I have some right answers now. So let's have a look. The five fittings. Shackles, turn buckles, symbols, guide clamps, and die and grips. They are the five fittings of the guy wears. So the last question I leave for you is why is called a guy wear? I will just tell you the answers I have. The term originated from the French and the Dutch, where they used the term guy, referring to a rope that they used to steady their ships when sailing. So they call it guy wear. Yes, some of you uh, just answer them all right. Very good, very good. So, if you like us, please just subscribe us at the corner of the video. So, what about today's topic? Okay, let's have a look on, uh, on the blackboard, right board behind me. Let's have a look now. Today's topic is tip tail balls. So let's have a uh, let's have a look at our, our outline of the of today's speech. First one, the first topic is the advantage of the pigtails. I will talk about five points of the advantage of the pigtail balls in this part. Then I will show you some components of the pigtail balls. The last one, I will demonstrate the making process of the pigtail balls. So let's start today's speech. Also after speech, I will ask you some questions. Listen carefully and answer the questions. Okay, let's start. Pigtail balls are parts of the equipment that are used in concrete, wood, and power posts for getting bad bundled aeronautical cables across suspension clamps and dead end clamps. They are also used as screws in pole line transmission and distribution lines. One end of the pigtail is thread, 
and the other end is pigtailed. They are used to hang chains, types, handrails, electrical and telephone cables, refrigerations, water, and the ventilation columns. So let's have a look on the products. This is the pigtail box. The head of it is a, like a pigtail. So I call it pigtail box. So, and this is another one. It's all the same. So, next one, let's have a look at the advantage of the pigtail balls. They have five advantages. What are they? Let's look at one by one. First of them, they can support the pole, pole paws. After the pig bell paws are attached and tightened, they offer immediate support for overhead load regardless of its weight. Secondly, it's easy for installed. Once the balls are installed, they do not require specific procedures as they can start functions about immediately. Thirdly, this They, installed, they can install with simple tools. Pigtail balls do not require distinctive tools to use of tools, which require extensive knowledge to install or use. So the first advantage is small measurements variation. In the event that the tools dimensions are not similar, pigtails can still function as it can as they can integrate minor differences. The last advantage is negligible deformation. The charge of size and the shape of the balls are insignificant over time. So what are the components of the pigtail balls? Let's have a look. Look at the pig, pigtail balls. They have four components. Let's have a look. So the first one is the single pieces of pigtail body is this one. Look. And then two hex nuts. This is one. Another one we don't have. So this this one only have one hex nuts. And two washers. Here are two washers. So two washers. And one thread. One thread is here. So this is the this four parts compose a pigtail box. So the last thing, let's look at the making process of pigtail balls. Pigtail balls come in different shapes and size through the process, still remains the same. The process mainly include the cold folding and heat treatment. The cold folding is a process of unveiling, cutting to less large steel spheres, rows and designing. Modeling of the steel takes place mainly under room temperature. For tools that the pigtail balls forging are down alongside other methods such as twisting to acquire the best shape of the pigtail has after it is can now process to the head, head treatment heat treatment so the heat treatment is necessary for all types of balls for exposing them to high temperature to make the steel harder. Threading of the pigtail balls is advisable to do before the heat treatment, as the heat can alter the design by making the steel harder. So after the heat treatment, the zinc plating is applied onto the surface 
make it more corrosion resistant. After this done, Pictel can now undergo the quality test and therefore are ready to are ready for packaging and stocking. So this is the making process. But what are the difference between pigtail balls and pigtail steel hook, screw hook? So let's have a look. Pigtail balls is kind of hardware that is used to support post immersed in concrete wood. The difference between a pigtail board and a pigtail screw hook is in the shape of the end where the pigtail screw has a sharp end. So we don't have a real product here, I'm sorry. So this is the difference between the pigtail balls and pigtail screw hook. So, what are the use of the pigtail hook screws? The many use in suspension of ventilation, air, refrigeration, water column, chain types, hard drills, telephone, and electrical cables. So, this is the speech today. So, now let's come to the question part. I have four questions that you should answer now. So let's look at the first question. What are the pigtail balls? You can leave on the comment. So, okay, let's have a look. Okay, I will give you an answer now. Pigtail balls a hardware that is used in concrete, wood, or power post are used to receive cables, cross suspension clamps, and dead and clamps. So this is the pigtail balls. So the second question, listen carefully. What other names for pigtail balls? You remember them? Okay, they're also called pigtail hook, pigtail screw, pigtail fasteners, or pigtail eyeballs. Remember, there are four names of huh? pigtail balls. So, there are pigtail hooks, pigtail screws, pigtail fasteners, or pigtail eyeballs. Five of them, five names. So, the three the third question is what is the pigtail tooth used for? So do you remember them? Leave it on a comment. I will say it immediately. Simultaneously say it. Let's have a look at your let's have a look at your answers. Okay, I have time some red answers now. Okay, I have. Okay, I will tell you the red answer. The pigtail balls is mainly used for suspension of ventilation, air, and rework columns. This also used alongside other telephone or telephone cable or electrical cables. So. The first question you will answer today is the last question you will answer today is what are the components of a pigtail balls? You remember? Four components. Okay. Very good. Very good. So let's have a look. The four components include a man body, a man body. And the hex nuts and the washers, two of them, and also the three the threads on the right end. Okay. This is a components. So I also have three questions for you to answer after the speech. Also, always next week or the Israeli, I will do a nice live streaming. I will show you the answers 
in the beginning of the next live streaming. So let's carefully the third three questions I will give you. Firstly, what is a pigtail connector? Secondly, does the pigtail balls have benefit? What benefit are they? Okay, the second question. The benefits of the pigtail balls. What are they? What are they? The third question is third. The last question is what is the process of making pigtail balls? Yes. That is the third qu three questions. Show you again. First one, what are pigtail connectors? Second one, what are the benefits of the pigtail balls? The third one, what is the making process of pigtail balls? Three questions you have answered. So let's have a look at today's speech. Have a quick remember. So today we are talking about the pigtail balls. The advantages, their components, and their making process. So thank you for your listening about today's live streaming. If you like us, please subscribe us at the right corner of this video. We will have a next live streaming next week or on Friday this week. So, have a good day. Bye, everyone.